Hey, so check this out. I was using the calculator app the other day in Mac OS X. And I don't think I ever noticed this before. It's a pretty basic calculator, but um, I found that you can do things like this. You can say $100, right? And go to convert and you can choose currency. And you can say, well, what is that in Australian dollars or whatever? And then this pulls from Yahoo. And if you click update, it'll get today's, um, today's latest currency rates and it converts it and just tells you what the conversion is. So that's a pretty quick way to get a conversion. But then I was looking under this menu and there's other things you can convert, like just going and saying, uh, let's say you wanted to convert temperature. So 140 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit or convert 289, what, um, feet to hmm, millimeters. And you'll also notice I have commas in here because uh, when I was doing some um, light math, I noticed that I had a hard time reading what the number was actually, uh, what the number actually was. So for example, if I clear this and I go back here to uh, view and I'll turn that off. So let's say I had this number. So instead of trying to count those zeros, if you just go to view and you say, uh, show thousand separators, it puts the commas in for you. And that's pretty helpful. And what else did I learn? Um, also, it was pretty cool if I needed to convert time. So with time, you might have, um, let's say you need to find out how many hours there are in this many um, days, or that's from hours to days. And that one actually doesn't make sense. So does that work out? I don't know. That's probably a tough one. So let's clear that. So let's say it was uh, 200 and um, I don't know, 75, and we said time, and we went from, yeah, time from uh, hours to days. Like, how many days is that? And it tells you it's 11 days, 11.45 days. So anyway, I thought I'd share that because I thought that was kind of cool. And I especially enjoyed the converting the currency because I'm always jumping over to a website to do that. And um, it's just a much easier way to do it. So there you go. Oh, and the other thing, you know, if you just needed something... Uh, you needed to do some quick math instead of just going and finding the calculator app. You can also just use Spotlight and just hit like a uh, command tab to bring up Spotlight and type in something like, you know, 100 times 34.53 and it gives you the answer. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't do conversions though, not that I saw. Um, I'm not sure why. It's all there. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Thought I'd mention it too.